Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft World War II tank tutorial, and today we are doing a second tank today. Yes, I tried to do, I tried my best to get these two out, and um, you know, I figured, you know, it should be easy enough to do so. So, here it is, the second tank. This time, this time this is actually a requested tank. The last one I made just a few minutes ago would be T-46. Well now, here's the actual requested tank. And the Wisp, or Wasp, or however, you know, it's said I I used like I used like the translator or whatever and it said west now I'm not too certain what it is maybe you can just correct me but here it is uh, my first German artillery tank and I think it turned out decently well now uh, I have a few beefs with it but you can't really change it uh, it is a little too wide I would have liked it if I could have made these tracks just half their width and just have you know, the inside part here, just half a block. That would have made perfect, you know, width for the tank. If I could just shave off those extra half blocks off the sides, would have been perfect width. Sadly, though, this is Minecraft and you can't get what you want. Although I did add something new to my tank that I don't ever do. I did put a banner with the Wehrmacht emblem on it, so that's a little bit of a neat little touch, I'd say. Uh, give it a little bit more detail, and yeah, it, I like it. There's not a whole lot of detail on the inside that I could put because I was, like, using World of Tanks and I was looking at the inside of the tank. There's not a whole lot there. So, you know, I couldn't put a whole lot there. You can add stuff for, on your own if you want to add stuff. There is no way to access the driver's spot because, remember, well, this is, is this is based off of a modified Panzer II chassis. If I were to make a Panzer II, you couldn't have an interior. So, there's n hardly going to be an interior. You're lucky that this, this even works here. This, uh, you know, the inside of the uh, main area for the artillery. And, yeah, I don't really have much more to say about it, so now let's just go take a look at the, uh, you know, statistics that I took down of it. Designed in 1942, again, off of the Panzer II chassis, modified. Manufactured 1943 through 44. The number of built, the number of them built was 100, was, uh, excuse me, 675, and it was in service from 1943 into 1945. Uh, so, you know, it got to see its full of the war. And its main armament is a 10.5cm uh, LEFH18L-28, whatever. And then its origin was in Germany. So, uh, yeah, I think it turned out well. I hope you all enjoyed this one. And without any further holdups, let's get right into the tutorial. So for the first layer, we're going to want to have cobblestone slab, stone brick stair, stone brick slab, chiseled stone brick, wooden trapdoor, stone slab, and iron trapdoor. We're going to start for the right side of that tank, which we always do. We're gonna place down a stair. Oh, uh, one block back. Okay. We're gonna place down one stair. Make sure that it that the back of the stair is facing where you want the front of your tank to be. Next, we're gonna skip over three blocks to the left of that and place another one. Behind it, we're gonna place three more on either side. Uh, four more actually. Four more behind it. And then behind the fourth uh, stair on either side, place the top slab of stone brick like that. And behind that, place another one. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our stone slab and in between, you know, the first two top slabs of stone brick, we're going to place a row of three uh, stone slabs, and behind that we're going to place a row of three iron trap doors. And we're going to just make sure that was slab, that was stone. Next, we're going to bring the stone slabs toward the front, like up to about here, where our first stairs were. Bring it up to about there. In front of that, two, three cobblestone slabs. And in front of that, two, three iron trap doors. In front of these uh, stone brick stairs, we're going to do another two top slabs of stone brick coming forward, like we did on the rear, like that. And that's about it for layer one. Layer one's quite simple, and the track system does look kind of derpy the first layer, but whatever, it's going to get better over time. So now let's move on to layer two. So for layer two, we're going to take our stone brick stairs, and on either side, on the front, on top of the front top slabs of stone brick, place a stone brick stair with the, top of the backs of the stairs facing the back of the tank. Behind those, we're going to take a uh, chisel stone brick and we're going to put a block behind each of those stairs. Behind those chisel stone brick, we're going to go back five blocks, five top slabs of stone brick, like that, on either side. Then behind the fifth block, we're going to take two more chiseled stone brick and on either side, place a block. And then behind the chisel stone brick, place another stone brick stair with the backs of the stairs facing the front of the tank. Next, what we're going to want to do is we can just come over here and snatch some stone. We're going to take our stone blocks and we're going to do a row of three here on the back, right between these last two stairs in the back. And then we're going to take 
our cyan hardened clay. We're going to do six right here. And then we can just take our stone uh, blocks and bring it all the way to the front like this. Just fill it all the way up to the front just like that. Then on the front of that, we can just take our ladders and do three ladders here on the front uh, of the stone blocks at the front of the tank. Then we can take our wooden trap doors and on the outsides of the wheels, like the drive wheels, we're going to place a wooden trap door on either side. Close it like that. Like that. And I think, yeah, that's it for, uh, actually no, I guess one part. We actually put a, put a wooden trap door right there for the exhaust. And that is it for layer two, so fairly simple. Now let's move on to layer three. Uh, for layer three, we're going to want to have cobblestone stairs. We're going to take our cobblestone stairs, we're going to place one here and one here, facing each other, the fronts of them facing each other. Curve it and like meet up with them right there at the back. Come forward two more blocks on either side like that. Then we're going to take our cobblestone slabs, if I can grab it real quick. Cobblestone slabs. I'm going to do cobblestone slabs here and here on either side where our first stairs were. And then do five on the back ones right there. Then what we can do is we can put a placeholder right there and there. And then do two upside down cobblestone stairs on either side like that. And then in front of those we're going to take a stone block and in front of those stairs we're going to place one on the bottom. Oh, I accidentally crossed the next layer. Darn it. Whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter now. I mean, we already did that. I got a little caught up in it. I was enjoying the tutorial or whatever. Well, then I guess we'll just maintain where we left off then. I guess it doesn't really matter. So in front of these upside down stairs, we're going to place another stair on either side with the backs of the stairs facing each other inward like that. In front of the stone block, we're going to place an upright stair with the backs facing the stone block. You're going to do, it, you're going to do three stone blocks, uh, in, actually no, just two stone blocks, excuse me. Leave the middle one open, put one on either side like that. Take our cobblestone slabs, just put a slab there, and then three in front of it like that. By uh, going, actually no, two off to the side, excuse me. Take our iron trap door, put two iron trap doors here and here. Like gray carpet, like gray carpet here and there. Take our uh, spruce, sl spruce wood slab, put one there. Grab our stone slabs, do two there. With a iron trap door in the middle of them. Then for the front of the tank, put our cobblestone stairs, one on top of either of those stone blocks. Once you've done that, we can just put our, uh, make sure how everything's going here. We're going to put a we're going to use our stone slabs to make a block of them right there. In front of that, we're going to take a stone brick stair and do an upside down stair right in front of it. And in front of that, go for uh, two top slabs of uh, stone, blo stone, stone blocks. I mean, stone slabs, excuse me. Um, I think that we need to get to that part now. Come to the back of it. We're going to take a cobblestone wall, a cobblestone wall right there. Type of cobblestone stairs, put an upside down stair here and here, backs facing the front of the tank. Right behind this cobblestone wall, put a dispenser, and then another, another, another wall off to the right of the dispenser, just like that. Take our cyan hardened clay, put a clay there and there. We're going to take a cobblestone slab, we're going to put a cobblestone slab in between these two clay blocks. Okay, we're going to take our stone, we're going to place three stone blocks there, there, and one right in there. Just do that. Next we can take our iron trap doors. We're going to do iron trap doors here and here, and then I think two more like on top of that. Yeah, okay. Wooden trap door. Put a wooden trap door right there, flip that up. Take our iron trap doors once again. Put one there. There, there, and there. Our light uh, gray carpet. Put three there on the uh, first three blocks of the gun. Then on the end of it, put a uh, wooden trap. I mean, an iron trap door at the end of it on the top. And then we can take our iron bars right here on top of this stair. Stack up three iron bars. Next, we can take our gray carpet. You know, what am I saying? Gray carpet, gray banner. Put a banner here and here. 
And now I'm going to show you how to, how to real quick make the Wehrmacht one. So we're going to need Grey Banner, uh, Crafting Table, Bone Meal, Ink Sack, and Grey Dye. Just if you think, yeah, that's what we're going to need. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some crafting table, obviously, grey banner, go in here. We're going to take our bone meal, do three down the middle like that. Then do three going across. And then do a cross of black. Like that. And then we're going to take our grey eye, do three across the top. Three across the bottom and then all around the banner like that. And that's how you get the Wehrmacht banner. And then do one of those banners in front of the gray banners on either side of the tank like that. Just get rid of that. And that is it for the Wisp. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I'm uploading this again on the same day as the T-46, which is the day of the eclipse, at least for us in the United States. I don't know about the rest of the world if you can see it. But for those of you that can see the eclipse, enjoy it. Just don't look straight into it with your bare eyes. And make sure to use the special shades or use some other method that allows you to see the eclipse. And overall, just have a good day. If you have any requests, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And I'll be sure to look at them and get to those requests at some point in time, if physically possible. And yeah, that's about it. So keep on tanking. Have a good day. Enjoy the eclipse. Goodbye.